24 hours removed from the biggest party of the summer. We welcome you inside the Gainsbrid Field House in Indianapolis, Indiana, for what should be an eventful Raw after SummerSlam. And coming up in tonight's main event, the new WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge, teams up alongside an old rival and the man who made his return to the WWE last night at SummerSlam, John Cena. Those two men team up as they take on all day Austin Theory and a tag team partner of Austin Theory's choosing. What an explosive main event we have coming up tonight. Plus, the Intercontinental Championship is going to be on the line. So the new champion, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunn, goes one-on-one -on -one with the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. The gold's on the line. A big main event. What a night it is going to be right here on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for What an exciting night it was last night at SummerSlam, and one of the reasons is the situation involving the WWE Women's Championship that is going to be defended right here, right now, kicking us off on Monday Night Raw, our first of two championship matches. The challenger, Casey Catanzaro, makes her way to the ring, but last night at SummerSlam, what a night it was for the WWE Women's Championship as Shotzi, the challenger, took on the WWE Women's Champion, the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. We've talked about for months how better how much better Shotzi has gotten inside of the ring. It was the big moment for her last night at SummerSlam, but she was finally able to defeat Bianca Belair in the middle of the ring to become the new women's champion. But she was surprised by Mrs. Money in the Bank, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who decided SummerSlam was going to be the night that she cashed in that briefcase on the winner of the women's championship matchup. Shotzi was then set with her second match of the night against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, a woman she fought last week here on Monday Night Raw, and unfortunately for Shotzi, it was too much for her to handle, and the Empress of Tomorrow left Phoenix, Arizona, the new WWE Women's Champion. It was an insane night regarding the Women's Championship, and a lot we're going to discuss here, but we're kicking things off with a match I don't think any of us saw coming tonight. Not only a Women's Championship matchup, but a huge shot for Casey Catanzaro, but the Empress of tomorrow walking into Monday Night Raw here tonight in Indianapolis as your new WWE Women's Champion of the World. That is the nature of the Money in the Bank briefcase. Anytime, any place for up to a year. Asuka won that briefcase back on May the 2nd in Philadelphia. And she waited till the right time. She waited for the right opportunity. She watched, or should be sat back and watched Bianca Belair and Shotzi take each other to the limit on June 26th in Phoenix, Arizona at SummerSlam. And through everything Shotzi had in that matchup, able to put Bianca Belair down and become the new women's champion, to not even get the chance to hold the title in her grasp as Asuka was there to interrupt the celebration and cash in her Money in the Bank contract to become the new WWE Women's Champion. At the end of the night, you can't fault Asuka. We talked about it then. We'll discuss it now. That is the nature of the Money in the Bank contract. You got to feel for Shotzi, however. We know how hard she worked to get better week in and week out. It was just last week here on Monday Night Raw where Shotzi was the challenger going into SummerSlam. Asuka still had her briefcase. The two went one-on-one, -on -one, and Shotzi actually defeated Asuka in the Monday Night Raw ring last Monday night. A lot can change in just a matter of a week, and here we are tonight. Bianca Belair was the champion. Shotzi had it for mere seconds. Asuka took that away from her. And now we're here for your official in-ring introductions. Introducing the challenger from Glen Ridge, New Jersey, Casey Catanzaro. And introducing the champion from Osaka, Japan, the Raw Women's Champion, Asuka! Oh, 
Alaska's first championship defense in this new reign here tonight. And her opponent, Casey Catanzaro, a young woman who made her main roster debut a number of weeks ago, and she has impressed ever since day one. A victory over Mickey James, she impressed in the fatal four-way matchup, which is where Shotzi qualified to face Bianca Belair at SummerSlam. Now Casey being awarded a big opportunity here tonight. The first challenger for the new champion to kick us off on the roll after SummerSlam. This is going to be an exciting night. This is our first of two championship matches, plus that mega tag team main event, as we mentioned, is Casey Catanzaro already headed up to the top rope here. Look at this. Missile drop kick. Take it, Asuka down. And we're going to have a new women's champion, the surprise factor, possibly. Not enough for Asuka to get taken down here tonight just yet. But that is what Casey Catanzaro is going to have to do here. Asuka's riding a high, coming off of SummerSlam last night. Of course, she did wrestle that match versus Shotzi. Shotzi got in a little bit of offense, but it was really no contest. And Asuka pretty much got to walk in and walk out without breaking a sweat to become the women's champion, the nature of the money in the bank. So both these women, in my eyes, coming in fresh tonight. And it's a big-time matchup, and certainly the biggest matchup of Casey Catanzaro's career, as it's her first opportunity at the WWE Women's Championship here tonight. And as this match progresses again later up tonight on, Mo on Monday Night Raw, the new Intercontinental Champion, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, will be going one-on-one -on -one with Jinder Mahal. Look at this! Casey Catanzaro from the top rope! Phoenix Splash on the Empress of Tomorrow! Casey is coming out swinging since the opening bell. Double high-risk maneuvers, trying to do everything she can to keep the new women's champion down, but Asuka takes her out with a hip attack. And Asuka now going to pick her spots against the young woman, Casey Catanzaro, here tonight. And again, you got to feel for Shotzi after everything she went through last night at SummerSlam. We talked about... In the weeks leading up to SummerSlam, we talked about it during the match between Shotzi and Bianca Belair as well, how much better Shotzi has gotten week after week, how much she has fought to earn that opportunity at SummerSlam and to become the women's champion. And finally be able, being able to defeat Bianca Belair in their third meeting. As Casey Kenz are looking to keep Asuka down here, but back-to-back -back rope breaks for the Empress of Tomorrow. But Shotzi, excuse me, really took... Bianca Belair to her limit, a limit that we've never seen before, and was able to knock her off at SummerSlam, something that nobody has done in, in months here in the WWE. And for Shotzi to become the women's champion in the history of the record books without actually get the chance to hold that women's championship in her hand at the end of the day, whether it's the nature of the money in the bank or not, absolutely heartbreaking for that young woman. Hopefully she gets her rematch in the near future and another chance to become a two-time women's champion. Oscar working down on Casey Catanzaro here. Casey, this is definitely the first, as we mentioned, the biggest match of her career. Oscar obviously has the more big match, big match experience out of these two women. I think Casey's best shot is to try to get back to that offense she was delivering after the opening bell, that high offense, fast-paced action from Casey Catanzaro. It might be best to try to keep Asuka down and out here, but Asuka Bay just knocked out Casey Catanzaro, and Casey gets the shoulder up. Casey does not want to get in the deep waters of this matchup with the new women's champion. Asuka's been there before. She knows how to fight. We know how tough Asuka is. We have documented it in the past. Possibly, if not the number one most toughest woman in the WWE. But Casey's hanging in there, able to course through that leg of the women's champion. Casey, look at this, trying to build some momentum. The women's champion's going down. Asuka, look at this, Casey taking her off her feet. Casey Catanzaro is feeling it here, but she's got to keep up this offense if she wants to become the new WWE Women's Champion here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Raw off their SummerSlam live from Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, wait a minute here, Casey's dazed, and Asuka hit her with that hip attack. And Asuka's going to the cover, and I have a feeling she's still going to be walking out with the championship. Oh, look at that, Casey Catanzaro. Being aware of her surroundings pays her dividends in this contest. Reaching for the ropes, getting the rope break, living to fight a little bit longer in this contest. Very impressive, but Asuka may have just knocked her lights out there with that discus leg lariat. And now Casey stays, Asuka... Oh no, pulled her in. I think we know what's coming. The move 
that awarded Asuka the Women's Championship last night at SummerSlam. And Casey Catanzaro's got no choice but to tap out. Casey putting up a fight here tonight. But Asuka's riding it high. Coming out of Phoenix. And she is leaving Monday Night Raw, like it or not. Still, the WWE Women's Champion of the World. Credit where it's due, as we mentioned. Casey getting a big opportunity, the biggest match of her career. But in the end, Asuka's walking out with the gold she walked in with after moves like this. Tapping out her challenger once again here tonight. Very impressive by the champion. Very impressive match from the challenger. I'm sure Shotzi as well as Bianca Belair had their eyes on this contest. And they want an, an opportunity to get back their WWE Women's Championship. But right now the gold belongs to the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, the new champion and still the champion coming out of the Raw after SummerSlam. We are back inside. Indianapolis, Indiana here tonight on the Raw after SummerSlam. And John Morrison is in action here on Raw. Morrison's been searching for a victory for quite a while. Will tonight be the night that Morrison retracks his career and gets back in the fast lane of victories? And wait a minute. Get a load at who John Morrison's opponent's going to be here tonight. It's the return of Dolph Ziggler. What a surprise here for the Raw after SummerSlam. Dolph Ziggler, who's been down in NXT the last number of months, is back here on Monday Night Raw. We were not expecting this. And he's going one-on-one -on -one with an old rival and a current day friend in John Morrison. A shocker to see nonetheless, but Dolph Ziggler is back here on Monday Night Raw, back here in the WWE. And he is set for action here on the Raw after SummerSlam. What a nice surprise. This is going to be a hell of a contest that we're getting ready to witness here tonight. I'm pumped up for this. Let's get things going. Dolph Ziggler versus John Morrison right here, right now, continuing us on on the Raw after SummerSlam. This is going to be a good one, folks. Let's get this going. Bell has rung, and we're underway. John Morrison, as we mentioned, he's been looking to get back in the winning ways for quite some time. Guys, look at this. Nice moonsault to Dolph Ziggler there. And Morrison, as we mentioned, a friend, an old rival of Dolph Ziggler. These guys have a lot of history with each other. I'm sure even Morrison's got to be thrown off by his opponent here tonight. They may be friends outside of the ring, but it's all about the competition inside the squared circle. And Morrison knows that very well. As we mentioned, he's been searching for that victory as of late. Last time we saw him in this ring, he... Took a loss to Austin Theory. And it's been quite some time since he got his hand raised, but right now it looks like Dolph Ziggler is taking firm control over this contest off that famous or now. A couple of classic Ziggler elbows here. And Morrison trying to fight back. As we mentioned, Dolph Ziggler is his return here tonight. Oh man, nice pop up tornado DDT. Back and forth we're going here in the early moments of this contest. Morrison's heading to the top rope. Dolph going to cut him off here. Enough to at least get Morrison off his game as Morrison hits the mat down below. This is Dolph Ziggler's return to Monday Night Raw here tonight. He's been down in NXT the last number of months working with some of the young talent down there. Now he is back here. A former Intercontinental Champion, former United States Champion, former Tag Team Champion, a former World Heavyweight Champion. Dolph Ziggler's got a nice list of accolades throughout his career. But he wouldn't be back without reason. I'm sure Dolph Ziggler's got his intentions in mind upon returning to Monday Night Raw here tonight. Nice rushing leg sweep, a classic maneuver in the old wrestling book that you don't see too often these days. Ziggler using it to his advantage there. And a snap to the next to John Morrison. What an impromptu contest we have here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Cut, kicking things off with Asuka defending her women's championship against Casey Catanzaro. We still have an Intercontinental Championship match to come. We still have a mega tag team match to come. It's going to see the new WWE Champion Edge. Oh, wait a minute. Cut myself off as Ziggler 
may have just knocked Morrison's lights out for good off that super kick with Morrison barely able to squeak the shoulder off the canvas. Impressive maneuver from Ziggler and impressive for Morrison to be able to battle back from that. As you smell the sense of urgency out of John Morrison tonight, he's really throwing a little bit of everything at Dolph Ziggler since the opening bell. And again, Morrison's kind of fighting the surprise factor here. I'm sure whoever he thought he was going to go up against tonight was not Dolph Ziggler as Morrison, look at that. Very impressive sliding underneath the bottom rope with that German suplex almost variation. Now he's head to the top, drops an elbow of his own. And Morrison goes into the cover. Enough to put Ziggler away, but it's only a one count there. Morrison's feeling it thus far. Now he's heading up again. Look at this. Nice tackle to Dolph Ziggler. And now going for the cover again. Morrison is feeling urgent here to get that victory he's been oh so searching for. Dolph Ziggler's coming out, I gotta say, with the advantage though tonight. That surprise factor. He has been active. It's not that... He's Hasn't been wrestling down in NXT. There's no ring rust for Dolph Ziggler. May, his, may be his return to Monday Night Raw, but he's been fielded in the ring, and he gives John Morrison another super kick for good measure. Tuned up the band that time, and Ziggler picks up the victory here tonight on Monday Night Raw. An impressive victory for Dolph Ziggler upon his return. John Morrison giving it his all here tonight, but in the end, the battle with his old rival and current day friend goes to Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler gonna extend the hand to Morrison. Morrison gonna shake the hand. As we mentioned, friends outside of the ring, competition inside. And whether Morrison's been searching for that victory or not, Dolph Ziggler did the same. And tonight, the Raw after SummerSlam belongs to Dolph Ziggler. Well, the action continues here on the Raw after SummerSlam with Eric and Ivar looking to bounce back from their SummerSlam loss in a tag team matchup against Lucha House Party, Kalisto, and Lince Dorado, as well as Humberto Carrillo set to go one-on-one -on -one with the disciple, Buddy Murphy. And the results of those contests see the Viking Raiders bouncing back from SummerSlam over the Lucha House Party. I'm sure they're going to be looking for a tag team title opportunity soon, and Murphy picks up the victory over Humberto Carrillo right here on Raw. Championship. Well, it's our second of two championship matches here this evening. And the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal finds himself in a very opportunic situation as he goes one on one with the new Intercontinental Champion of the World, Pete Dunne. And these two got history dating back a couple of weeks ago before SummerSlam that we're going to allude to in a few moments. But Jinder Mahal going one-on-one -on -one with Pete Dunne here tonight. The Bruiserweight was in that triple threat matchup last night at SummerSlam in Phoenix where he took on Drew McIntyre as well as the former now Intercontinental Champion, the Oso dominant Celtic Warrior Sheamus. And what a triple threat match it was. All three men beating the hell out of each other for numbers of minutes in that contest. But in the end, Sheamus was out of the equation. Pete Dunne was able to lay out Drew McIntyre face first on the canvas. And it was enough for the Bruiserweight to pin Drew McIntyre's shoulders to the mat. And the Bruiserweight walked out of Phoenix, the new Intercontinental Champion. A big time night for Pete Dunne last night, but Jinder Mahal's got a chance to come make it come all crashing down here tonight in Indianapolis. Will Jinder Mahal become the new Intercontinental Champion? This is going to be a great fight, I suspect, here tonight especially with the stakes on the line. And here comes the new Intercontinental Champion for the first time, the Bruiserweight. Pete Dunne is in action right here on Monday Night Raw. And I gotta say, advantage in this matchup most likely goes to the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. Pete Dunne was in a hellacious, a war of a triple threat matchup at SummerSlam. In there with Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. He survived, but he ain't coming out without a couple of battle wounds. There's no way. I suspect Pete Dunne is coming into this matchup 100% here tonight. He's riding the momentum high. The adrenaline rush coming out of SummerSlam may do wonders for Pete Dunne, but Pete Dunne at the end of the day was in a war at SummerSlam. 
Jinder Mahal is coming into this matchup fresh. And Jinder Mahal is coming into this with the chance to become Intercontinental Champion on the line. I suspect a fight right here, right now, on the Raw after SummerSlam between the modern day Maharaja and the Bruiserweight with that beautiful gold and blue on the line. The roll after SummerSlam continues. It's your second of two championship matches for the Intercontinental title. Let's send things down to the ring for your officials in ring introductions. Introducing the challenger from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, Jinder And introducing the champion from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Well, here we go. Pete Dunne handing over that Intercontinental Championship for the first time and possibly the last time as he is set to defend this title, one-on-one -on -one versus Jinder Mahal, right here, right now. It's the Intercontinental Championship Affair on the Raw after SummerSlam. And as we get set with this matchup, we have to mention the history between Pete Dunne and Jinder Mahal in recent weeks leading up to SummerSlam. Pete Dunne owns a victory over Jinder Mahal a number of weeks ago. And you remember that tag team matchup? That kind of kicked off the whole situation, the triple threat scenario at SummerSlam. That was on main event a number of weeks back when Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne took on Jinder Mahal, as well as the Intercontinental Champion, then Sheamus. And of course, Dunne and McIntyre picked up the win on that night, so Jinder Mahal is kind of 0-2 against Pete Dunne in recent weeks. And he's going to be looking to not only right the wrongs of those losses on that night, but take away Pete Dunne's precious gold in this contest. As Jinder Mahal is coming out swinging. Like we mentioned, Mahal is definitely going to be the fresher of the two combatants coming into this contest here tonight as Pete Dunne not going to be coming in here without a couple of battle wounds from SummerSlam. Mahal is unloaded on the bruiser weight so far. Obviously, the size and strength advantage goes to Jinder Mahal. We saw Pete Dunne chop down two mountains last night at SummerSlam against Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. We know he can get it done inside the ring. It's just a matter of getting the opportunity to do so in these championship matches. Goes for the Instaguri there. Look at that. Mahal had it scattered. You know, Jinder Mahal, knowing he was getting this Intercontinental Championship match tonight, I'm sure did his homework on his previous affairs with Pete Dunne. As Mahal, a little uncharacteristic here, is heading to the top rope. Jinder Mahal goes for the axe hammer. But Pete Dunne takes advantage of a misstep from Jinder Mahal, sidesteps it there, now grabbing a hold of his challenger. Look at this. Sends Mahal for a ride. And I'm sure the, the former Intercontinental Champion Sheamus has got his eyes on this contest. And on the other hand, I'm sure Drew McIntyre, he may have his eyes on this contest. At the end of the day, McIntyre, remember, we've been talking a lot, and we talked about it at SummerSlam, kind of failing one time after another to score those big-time victories in those big-time matchups. SummerSlam adding another one on that list. A big recent loss is the Nass last number of months, so it's going to be interesting to see where Drew McIntyre goes after this, coming off that loss at SummerSlam, but I'm sure Sheamus wants another shot to get his Intercontinental Gold back. Look at this, Pete Dunne, once again, capitalizing on a misstep from the modern-day Maharaja, outrunning him there, and hits him with that clothesline. And the Bruiser Waits feeling it on the roll after SummerSlam here tonight in Indianapolis, Indiana. Still to come, Austin Theory and a tag team partner of his choosing are going to take on the franchise. John Cena is set to make his return to Monday Night Raw after his successful return to the WWE last night at SummerSlam. And he's going to be teaming up with the new WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge. What a tag team matchup that is going to be in tonight's main event. And Pete Dunne's got his challenger. Well, I was about to say he's got his challenger where he wants him, but modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal battling out. Now, once again, this is Mahal using his size and his strength to an advantage, able to grab Pete Dunne and beat him down in these precarious situations. And Pete Dunne may be down. It's only going to take, I think, a couple of big-time maneuvers from Jinder Mahal to possibly score the win here tonight. And as I say that, Mahal may be looking for that camel clutch maneuver on the bruiserweight, and he's got it locked in deep. 
Pete Dunne took a bruising last night to Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. I don't know if he's going to be able to withstand the punishment from Jinder. Look at this, Pete Dunne digging down deep with the strength to get Jinder Mahal off of him there. And once again, with that monkey flip on Mahal. And Jinder Mahal cutting Pete Dunne's momentum off before it can really get rolling. Modern day Maharaj has got him in a predicament, but there's Pete Dunn battling back. Back and forth we go, teeter totter situation. Oh, wait a minute, Pete Dunn out of nowhere with that pump handle slam. The move he used to beat Drew McIntyre last night at SummerSlam, but it's not enough just yet. Jinder Mahal gets the shoulder up, and I gotta credit that. Not to the, not to the sense where that maneuver wasn't impactful, but Pete Dunn just has not been in the offensive seat. Throughout this contest, this contest has definitely seen Jinder Mahal as the aggressor. Pete Dunne, on the other hand, kind of using that finishing maneuver kind of as a saving grace to get Jinder Mahal off his ass, at least for a few moments. It wasn't enough to keep Jinder Mahal down. Pete Dunne just hasn't done enough punishment in this contest thus far. And Jinder Mahal's really had Pete Dunne's number. You see it right there. Every time Pete Dunne tries to mount some momentum, Jinder Mahal's right there to cut him off. And look at that, bringing the champion down to the canvas. That's Mahal once again, using his strength to his advantage, grabbing a hold of the champion, dragging him down to the floor below. And you smell the sense of urgency a little bit. Out of the Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne. It's now or never to put Jinder Mahal away. He can't allow Mahal to continue to beat down on the champion, continue to build momentum, because that is gonna lead us to having a new Intercontinental Champion here tonight in the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. As Mahal has really gotten Pete Dunne in a beaten state right now. And Mahal, look at this, for the second time in this contest, going back to the well with what works. Camel Clutch, once again, is locked in tight. And Pete Dunne was able to get out of it once. I don't know if he's got it in him a second time here. He's really going to have to dig deep, and it looks like he's going to able to get Mahal off his back. And we know how tough Pete Dunne is. And he's really proven that the last 24 hours at SummerSlam and now once again here tonight, sending Mahal down. Pete Dunne starting to roll. He's got to keep it going though. He can't allow Jinder Mahal to once again cut off his momentum. Mahal's down. Pete Dunne's trying to keep the momentum going here. Grabbing a hold, going to shoot him off. No, pulls him back in. Backbreaker right on the bare knee of the bruiser weight. Now, Pete Dunne, this is some of the offense that makes him one of the toughest SOBs in the WWE today. Look at this. Sending Jinder Mahal for a ride. Suplex inside out. What a fall for Mahal. And Pete Dunne retains the Intercontinental Championship here tonight. What a fight. Mahal certainly beating down Pete Dunne. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm getting, I'm getting breaking up. Oh man, I don't mean to cut us off so fast, but ladies and gentlemen, breaking news for the first time in six weeks, the original bro, Riddle, makes his return to Monday Night Raw next week. That is huge news coming out of here tonight. But ladies and gentlemen, also coming up on the next episode of Universe Mode on main event, one-on-one -on -one matches signed Cesaro to go one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Dijakovic. Well, certainly an eventful night here on Monday Night Raw, as we suspected on the Raw after SummerSlam. But it is now time for your tag team main event. All day, Austin Theory took a big loss to the returning franchise, John Cena at SummerSlam. Can himself, as well as a tag team partner of his choosing, bounce back in this matchup against Cena and the new WWE Champion right here, right now on Monday Night Raw. Yeah. The following contest is a tag team match. Scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Last night at SummerSlam, as we mentioned, the young man, all day Austin Theory, got the match he wanted, one-on-one -on -one with the returning franchise player of the WWE, John Cena. And credit to Theory, he took the fight to Cena. But in the end, Cena showed that the 20 years experience was too much for Austin Theory to handle. Cena with the attitude adjustment and just one was enough to put the young man away in his returning bout last night at SummerSlam. Cena came out swinging in that contest. Austin Theory looking for retribution tonight. 
And it looks like Austin Theory's tag team partner isn't going to be any normal man. It's going to be the colossal, dominant, undefeated Omos. Certainly a mega partner for Theory. And his partner from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, Omos. Omos has been undefeated since making his debut on the Raw after Money in the Bank over a month ago. And Austin Theory recruiting hard and credit to him recruiting well for this tag team matchup. Talk about a big time tag team partner for Austin Theory here tonight. The colossal, the giant, the undefeated Omos in his first main event here on Monday Night Raw. And certainly with some big time challengers awaiting, but hell, John Cena and Edge through everything they've been through throughout their careers, I don't think they've ever been in the ring with somebody like this man, Omos. Look at the size, look at the stature. This man is certainly, alongside Austin Theory, gonna make a very interesting pairing for this tag team men event here tonight. John Cena and Edge certainly gonna have their hands full here in Indianapolis. And for the first time in over a year, the franchise, John Cena, is back on Monday Night Raw. Can you feel the electricity at Indianapolis? And from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. John Cena made his return to the WWE last night. But for the first time in over a year, as we mentioned, John Cena is back on Monday Night Raw here this evening. A man who has had many legendary moments inside of this very ring. Hundreds of main events each and every Monday night for several years. John Cena is no stranger to the Monday Night Raw ring. And he's back in it here this evening. What a moment on the Raw after SummerSlam. And he has set the tag team with an old rival, one of his biggest rivals. But at this stage in their careers, a mutual respect, John Cena and the new WWE Champion. The Rated R Superstar Edge, who defeated AJ Styles just 24 hours ago in Phoenix and a hellacious 20-minute war in the main event where Edge walked out with the gold for the 12th time in his illustrious Hall of Fame career. I gotta say, the gold looks good around the waist of the Red R Superstar. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar. Edge. I got goosebumps here tonight. This jam packed, sold out crowd is coming unglued for the main event they're about to witness. John Cena and Edge side by side to take on two future stars of the WWE. Austin Theory and the Colossal Omos. This is going to be a main event for the ages, and we are underway here in Indianapolis. And we're kicking things off just as we left them last night at SummerSlam. Austin Theory and John Cena meeting for the second time inside of the ring as Theory snaps suplex to the franchise. And I'm sure Austin Theory is going to be feeling some type of way here tonight. He was the man who got John Cena out of, I don't want to say retirement, but back from a hiatus. In the WWE, he called out John Cena. The franchise answered, made his return at SummerSlam, and Cena shut up all day Austin Theory, at least for the night. And Cena right now is meeting the Colossal Omos for the very first time. Austin Theory tagging in, his mega tag team partner here tonight. And Omos, again, as we mentioned, undefeated since his WWE debut. And now look at this, his biggest main event and his biggest match in his career, and he's taking John Cena down for a ride. 
Cena has been in there with many giants throughout his career. He knows how to chop them down, but can he be the one to defeat Omos here tonight? Cena has been in there with the lights of the great Kali and the big show and Kane, Mark Henry, several other big time giants inside the squared circle. But Omos has proved to be different than all of them with his size and agility inside of that ring as he tags in Austin Theory. Which again, Austin Theory getting his hands on John Cena. I'm sure he wants to make up for that loss at SummerSlam. I'm sure he's got a fire underneath him tonight. As he hangs up John Cena in the top rope, Cena's got to be in a predicament right now. As Austin Theory goes into the cover on the franchise, he's going to make up for the loss, but Cena gets the shoulder up. This is again, John Cena's only second matchup since returning to the WWE. He proved to really not have any ring rust last night at SummerSlam. As he tags in the new WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge, who hits Austin Theory with a super kick. And Edge went through a battle, went through a war last night at SummerSlam in that one-on-one -on -one matchup with the phenomenal AJ Styles in the main event. The two men took each other to the limit. AJ Styles gave everything the Rated R Superstar could handle. Phenomenal forearms, but it wasn't enough to keep Edge down. And in the end, Edge, of course, walking out the new WWE Champion, successfully cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase. As Edge is taking the fight to Austin Theory here, Edge... Edge got cracked open last night at SummerSlam. If he's not careful, he's going to crack himself back open with those headbutts to Theory. And Edge grabbing a hold of the young man. This is the second time these two men have met inside of the ring, or third time, I should say. They've met in a six-man tag team matchup. They met in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. And now they're meeting here, Edge and Austin Theory. What a one-on-one -on -one match we would love to see out of those two men one day. As Theory, look at that, taking the champion off his feet. And now Theory... I think he's headed to the corner to tag in his tag team partner tonight. Omos meets Edge for the first time. Oh no, now Omos has got Edge on the shoulders here. And a snake, guys, right into the corner. And Omos, oh man, this is the brutality of Omos. And the agility, look at the speed. Boot scrape right to the face of the Rated R Superstar. And Omos just stepping over the WWE Champion. No respect for this young man to the Hall of Famer. Omos beating down the WWE Champion, doing the dirty work as he now once again tags in Austin Theory. Theory and Omos staying pretty fresh throughout this contest, tagging each other in and out. Theory grabs a hold of the WWE Champion again. Look at this, trails him up. Theory into the cover, looking for the victory, but Edge gets the shoulder up, and I believe I caught a glimpse there. I believe Edge's wound from SummerSlam may have been reopened. Edge has got a gash over the eye. I don't know if that's the same wound from SummerSlam or if he's been opened up again off that boot scrape. But nonetheless, Edge is rocking the Crimson Mass for the second time in 24 hours. And man, what a night it has been here on the roll after SummerSlam. Here tonight in Indianapolis is Edge tagging in John Cena. Who would ever thought we'd seen these two working side by side? Cena tags in, takes down Austin Theory there. As we were mentioning, what a night it has been here in the Raw after SummerSlam. Two championship matches. Successfully, two championships defended. Cena, look at this. A little bit of five. Knuckle. Shuffle on Austin Theory. And the You Can't See Me may be enough to keep the future down. Cena gonna beat Theory once again. Theory gets the shoulder up. I have no idea how Theory is gonna react if he takes a second loss for the second night in a row to John Cena here tonight, especially when again, Austin Theory was the one to bring John Cena back from that hiatus, bring him back out of Hollywood, if you will. Austin Theory trying to counter out John Cena. What about the news that we had breaking coming out of that Intercontinental Championship matchup? With the original bro, Matt Riddle, who's been down and out and injured for the last number of weeks. He's going to be making his return to Monday Night Raw next Monday. What a night that is going to be. Can't wait to see Riddle back inside the squared circle. And then, of course, in our next episode of Universe Mode, WWE main event, Cesaro set to go one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Dijakovic there. Two men who've been in need of a victory. Going to be battling out somebody 
is going to have to get their hand raised. Something's got to give between those two men. The matchup that is going to be as we continue on with our main event here. And Omas and John Cena brawling away here with some haymakers in the middle of the ring. And Cena, Luthez press, enough to take Omas off his feet momentarily here. And Cena's got to keep the fight coming on the Colossal One. You got Omas down, you got to take advantage. We really haven't seen Omas go the distance in any of his contests yet. It's been pure domination for Omas since making his debut. It's just certainly the biggest match of his career and oh, the longest match of his career thus far. As him and Austin Theory working together, sending John Cena for a ride. That's going to be an extra tall fall for Cena. Thanks to the height of Omas, is Austin Theory continuing to fight. And John Cena is going to be worse for wear here coming out of this contest. As Theory, you know, Moss really got Cena in a predicament. Theory going behind on Cena. Nice German suplex there. You just know that Theory's got a fire under his ass coming out of SummerSlam tonight. He wants the battle back against John Cena as he's going into the cover on the franchise. Is Theory going to get his hand raised tonight? But Cena kicks out. Again, we mentioned it. Cena didn't look like he had much ring rust at all in his return matchup last night at SummerSlam. He took the fight to Theory. Theory gave him everything he had, but in the end, Cena hitting that AA, and it was enough for John Cena to get his hand raised here. Cena not showing any signs tonight, but he's certainly taking some punishment by the hands of Austin Theory, as well as the Colossal Omas. Cena trying to battle back here. Theory and Omas have had him in a predicament for the last number of minutes, and Cena hitting that big boot. And Theory may be dazed. It's been a few minutes since Cena's been in there. Maybe time for Cena to make a tag to try to freshen up. And try to save his chances at winning this contest. Wait a minute, Austin Theory. Look, that goes for the super kick. Cena countering it. Grabs a hold, swings him around. And Cena with a nice shot. He's gonna shoot Theory off into the corner. John Cena's gotta start building some momentum for his team here. And Cena with the 10 shots. In theory, that may lead to a couple of knockout blows there. And that's enough for Cena to tag in the rated R superstar. And Edge still with that gash over the eyebrow. But you know the new WWE champion is used to these kind of fights. Wait a minute, Austin Theory takes advantage and a backbreaker to the champion. You really don't know the condition of Edge coming out of that brawl. An exciting wrestling contest with Summer at SummerSlam with AJ Styles. Look at this, Omas has got him in a predicament, but Edge, I believe he scraped the eyes of Omas, but Omas may have just knocked Edge out for good. You know, going into that camel clutch maneuver, the size of Omas. Just beating down on Edge here. Edge trying to break the, the grip of Omas, and he does it. He takes out the legs from underneath the Giant. Oh, what a nice knee, and once again, takes Omas down. And you gotta take advantage when Omas isn't on his feet. Edge, nice drop kick. Double it, but it's not enough to take Omas down. And Edge goes for the knee again, and he's successful. WWE Champion trying to head to the top rope. And he hits the axe hammer. And Omas may be in trouble here, man. Edge is heading back up. Wait a minute, Omas tagged in theory, but Edge... Hits Theory, cutting him off with that missile drop kick. Omas is down on the outside. Theory's dazed. Edge grabbing a hold. Execution to all day Austin Theory into the cover. Oh, but Theory gets the shoulder up. Edge almost had him here. Oh, wait a minute. Edge is looking for the spear. And if the execution didn't do it, the spear is gonna. Edge and John Cena picking up the tag team victory here tonight. What a matchup in our main event on the Raw after SummerSlam. And man, I do not know how all day Austin Theory is gonna react to taking now not one, but two losses to the franchise John Cena. Now this time as well as the WWE Champion Edge. And technically, this will be Omas's first loss, even though he wasn't pinned or made to submit, but there's going to be a lot of turmoil coming out of this tag team matchup. I got a feeling Edge and John Cena survive the onslaught here tonight in the main event. Here are your winners, John Cena and the Rated R Superstar, Edge. 
John Cena is back here in the WWE and Edge is atop waving the flag of the WWE as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. What a roll after SummerSlam tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for Universe Mode episode number 35 for main event Cesaro versus Dom Dominic Dijakovic. Thank you for joining us here in Indianapolis, and we'll see you next time. Good night. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.